we've just published um, is really the beginning of a, what we see as a, a, a longer term research agenda. Um, because the book identified a number of issues that we as a society are going to have to deal with in this area of energy innovation. Uh, and didn't answer, the, it identified uh, the issues, but in many cases didn't answer the question of how to deal, how to deal with them. So for example, um, one of the biggest obstacles to accelerating energy innovation uh, has to do with the availability of risk capital for what are often large-scale, very capital-intensive um, uh, new projects or new rollouts of, of, of technology. And we have, uh, I mean, people talk a lot about valleys of death in, in financing new energy technology. In fact, in, in the energy area, there are multiple valleys of death. Uh, but the one in particular that seems uh, that seems really hard to deal with at the moment has to do with uh, capital for early stage or demonstration and early stage deployment, where um, you know traditional on budget government financing simply isn't going to work because of the fiscal constraints in, uh, facing our uh, government and because of uh, basically also a, a lack of confidence that um, the congressional appropriations process can work for uh, these kinds of projects given what we've seen. At the same time, uh, venture capital uh, cannot provide uh, large enough investments or investments that are sort of comparable to the scale of these large new energy infrastructures that we're talking about because venture capital is for a variety of reasons very limited in, in scale and traditional project finance which isn't limited in scale which you know is capable of of uh, providing capital for very large projects isn't willing to take on the kinds of technology risks that we're talking about when we're talking about new energy technologies. So there's a, a space here for uh, where there's a need to invent new financing mechanisms that can fill this, this gap and that's one of the areas where we will uh, be focusing our ongoing research. I'll just mention one other area which has to do with the question of the balance between federal centralized decision-making in the energy space and decentralized regional, state, local level uh, decision-making. And what many people I think who've studied the energy sector appreciate is that one of the big obstacles in the political domain to any kind of progress on energy issues hasn't been so much partisan wrangling, although there's certainly been plenty of that, but rather the fact that different regions of the country, the Northwest, the Northeast, the Southeast, the Southwest and so on, the Midwest, face very different constraints and very different opportunities and have very different attitudes towards different technology and energy options. And we need to invent systems and structures for making decisions, particularly about energy innovation, that won't get and don't get, or won't get deadlocked by these regional fights about priorities. And so a second area where our energy innovation research is going to take us is, um, is towards developing more regionalized structures for energy innovation than we've had in, in the past. So those are just a couple of new 
uh, initiatives that are growing out or have grown out of this uh, Doris Duke Foundation funded research. There are indeed uh, a number of examples of problems that have arisen with, with federal demonstrations of new technology, particularly large-scale new technologies. Technologies like uh, back in the 70s and early 80s, synthetic fuels technologies. Uh, another example of a, of a federal demonstration program that didn't really work out so well was the the attempt to demonstrate the breeder reactor. Uh, more recently, we've seen problems afflicting the federal efforts to demonstrate carbon capture and sequestration technologies. And of course, uh, very recently, we've had the, the imbroglio of the Solyndra uh, case of uh, federal loan guarantees being extended to company, in that case, a particular company that uh, st has struggled to, um, uh, to be profitable with its new technology. Each of these can be thought of as, as a sort of a self-standing um, uh, problem area. But taken together, they suggest that the federal government does not do as well in the process of selecting and managing and, and uh, choosing uh, technologies for large-scale demonstration. And that's not surprising. It's not surprising because uh, of course, as technologies approach the marketplace, the kind of knowledge that is most important uh, for deciding which to pursue, which not to pursue, what particular aspects of the technology need to be emphasized, that knowledge really requires deep knowledge of the marketplace. And what we found very difficult as a society to uh, figure out is how to integrate what is undoubtedly the need for public funds, public financing at this stage of the process with private uh, organization perspectives and often superior knowledge of the needs of the marketplace. And figuring that problem out is something that we haven't done very well over a period of decades, and that's a process that really needs to be upgraded.